G'day guys, Glenn here from Altitude Campus. Today we're going to give you a small demonstration on how to set up your Enix. First of all, we want to roll out the awning. So just flick the switch and close the door straight away. The awning will come out to a certain amount of distance and then it will automatically stop. On the way out though, I am going to drop down the legs. Um, so it just takes the weight of the awning. So slide it down, just lift it up slightly and just step it out. Now if it's windy you want a second party just to make sure that they've got a bit of a hold on this. Geez, it's a tough life camping, isn't it? Now when it's reached its maximum distance, it'll automatically stop and then we'll straight away, we'll put some pegs in these and run a couple of ropes off the end. There we go. Now you just simply peg these in and we're ready for stage two, which is setting up the walls. Okay, moving forward guys, I've just laid out all the poles. Um, I've got the curved roof rafter and the center support down here, and any flat kit already set up as well. Um, we do have our spreader poles here. Now this goes over the fridge area to keep that wall off the fridge so we can slide that out nicely. With the anti flat kit, it's quite easily. They just slot in together, okay? And then we just tighten that up, and then we can lock that into place. Okay, then we just grab the uh, Velcro strip that attaches to the wall and we will just feed that in all the way through. So then that's ready for when we put up our walls. With all the Velcro strips, we do have one set up there already. We do have another one set up on our, the end of our awning. As we just grab them, and feed them through the designated spots on the caravan. Now this is all just standard sail track. Done. Now we're ready to set up the anti-flap kit. All right, guys. Moving forward through to the anti-flap kit. Um, obviously it's already assembled. Before we put this up, it just takes a little bit of caution obviously to do it. You want to do it right the first time. There's a nice little slot up there. Okay, so one end of the any flap kit is going to slot in up to, to up there. And then moving towards the front, you'll have a small bolt just located above the awning arm. So the rest of it's going to mount into that there. So now we're going to set up the any flap kit. So with the slot, we just simply bring it down onto about a 45 degree angle. Slot that in. Just bring your Velcro over to this side. And then we bring that across and locate that onto that bolt. Just pull it apart a little bit to adjust a bit of the tension and then tighten it back up again. From this side, we simply loosen off these nuts a little bit further. Take your end cap off and then place that over the top of the awning skin and lock it back into place. And then tighten those up. And now what you've done is you've created the frame for your roof and you will stop any of the flapping of the awning. So if I push on this on this side, it's not going to pop out. Do the same with this side 
and then repeat that step for the other side. All right, guys, moving forward through to the uh, curved roof rafter and the center support, and we're going to set up the uh, poles over the fridge there as well. Grab the one with the spike at the end, bring that up through the center pole, drop that down, just take a little bit of the weight off that awning, especially while it's going to have all the annex set up on it. The curved roof rafter just slots in like so. And then using the slot at this end, bring it into there and then tighten up your nut. Okay, so moving forward, setting up these poles for the over the fridge area. We have a bracket mounted to the caravan. We just simply slot that loop in there. Grab your corner pole, lock it into place. Clip your spreader pole on, and then slot that into the awning, like so. Okay guys, so now we're going to set up the annex walls. We've got all our frames set up, so I've got the front wall laid out. I do have a side wall and the end wall, so it's just a simple step. We've got our Velcro facing towards me here, so we're going to turn that around the other way. And we do have the vinyl that just sits at the bottom. So let me just run it along with the Velcro. We'll put a bit more pressure on those as we go on. Bring that nicely around to the other side. and then just secure to the pole with these Velcro loops. All right guys, so what we've done, we've just got all our vinyl facing on the inside here. That makes it a lot easier for when we put the floor on. Um, we've connected up in the corner with all the Velcro and we've put our little Velcro loops around the support panel. I'll leave this one out, I'll do this one shortly. So now what I'm gonna do now that the frame's up here, I am going to bring the front wall over and connect that on and then obviously follow through on those strips. As you've probably noted, um, you can just put this up in sections. So if you didn't want that front wall in, you can just leave that out. You can just put that wall in over on that side or you can just have this one in. Now just for the finishing touches. The last piece.
Now just for that last bit, I'm just gonna go outside and finish it off. And uh, we are done, folks. All right, guys, how easy was that? We just finished setting up the annex. We went over and done the final few trims. Just checked over the Velcro. We have set up the waterproof vinyl flooring that just simply Velcros in. Um, it only goes in one way, so you can't get wrong there. 